You're just joining us. I'm here with Katie today, and uh, this is an episode of Behind the Zoo. If you've never watched Behind the Zoo before, uh, this is a weekly radio show that we put out, and typically it's my wife, Melanie, and I, and right now I'm joined by our daughter, Cadence, and uh, Cadence has uh, has uh, recently turned eight years old. What else is unique about you? What else do you want to say about yourself? I don't want to talk for you. You're eight years old, and and yeah. you like... And I like opening presents. <laughs> I like opening <laughs> presents. Sounds like somebody's excited for Christmas. Are you excited for Christmas? Yes. What are you most excited for about Christmas? Mm, the opening of presents. <laughs> what like, about, what else? Anything else? It's just, it's all about the presents. And, um. Do you remember anything we did last year? Um, no. Because we opened presents, but. Grandma and Grandpa come over, too, and we have a meal with them. So there's other stuff that goes on, but Christmas, you know, it's pretty much about the presents, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> what do you? So I know you asked Santa for some stuff. You asked Mommy and Daddy for some stuff. What are you most hoping, like what gift are you most hoping to get? Um, the binoculars. 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 You're most excited about binoculars? Oh my goodness, really? I didn't think you'd be most excited about binoculars. I'm going to lower your mic just in case. I don't want it to cover your face there. Um, binoculars, really? Why? What? Why? Um, that, that threw me off. I was expecting actually a very specific other gift. Why binoculars? What makes you so excited for binoculars? Um, because I, that I never, um, like, I never got binoculars. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So binoculars. Very interesting. Where are you planning to use them? Um, for our road trip, like seeing stuff or like yeah. really far away. Really far away at the road trip. What about the cabin too? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Binoculars. You hear that, mom? I did. Did you ex yeah. did you expect that? What did you ex expect her to say? Okay. <laughs> well, she's asked for many gifts, uh, so I, I that's interesting. Binoculars. Okay. Well, I mean, we'll have to see if you were a good girl, right? And maybe Santa will ring it. <laughs> That's what you asked Santa for, isn't it? That's what you told him. You said binoculars, and what else did you ask Santa for? And dress for my doll. Oh, for your Jojo See What doll? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a dress for your doll. What kind of dress do you want for her? Um, like Elsa. Like an dress. Elsa dress or something long and flowy and pretty? <laughs> cool. So, I, so what we did um, probably, let's see, back in April which is about eight months ago now, we had this video that's about to hit one million subscribers. It's the video I showed you earlier of uh, me ask, um, subscribers, one million views. Thank you. Melanie's like, what are you saying? That makes no sense. Uh, <laughs> one million views. And it's a video of me interviewing Katie when she had been home from India for about four months. And uh, she came home from India how long ago? One month. No. One day. No, <laughs> no one Year. Year. That's right. One year. She came home a year ago. And uh, about four months in, she was learning English. And I asked her some questions. And, and uh, that video has gotten almost a million views. And people have been asking, you know, give us like the sequel. What's the sequel to that video? And, you know, in addition to talking to her about what she wants to talk about tonight, which the two things she wanted to talk about were Christmas and Indian food. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's what she wanted to talk about uh, and that's completely cool i wanted to ask her some of the same questions we asked in that video right and and then what you can do is you can go watch that video and then compare her answers then to her answers now so um i already asked you the first question i asked you in that video which was do you know how long you've been home from india last time you said i have no idea and uh and this time you said one month i mean one, one day, day i mean one year <laughs> And then in that video, I asked you, do you ever miss India? Um, well, n not really. Not really? No. So, and I, and I talked to you about like what it means to miss something. Um, even if you don't miss it, were there any things you liked about India? Um, and it could be India and where you lived in India or who you knew in India. I like that part of that where we went to Taj Mahal. Yeah, well, who wouldn't like the Taj Mahal, right? Taj Mahal was amazing. And um, we actually asked her that in a recent live stream, and that was the thing she said. Like, we were expecting her to say that I miss my friends 
from uh, Navajiban, right, from the orphanage. And uh, nope, she misses the Taj Mahal, which was an experience she had uniquely with us. She had never been there before, and we took her there. What about, uh, what about school? Do you remember school? Um, back at Navadiganto, right? Yeah. Tell me about school back at Navadiganto. Um, that we went to school and like when it's morning we get dressed and for school mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and we go to school. Would you would you get driven there or would you walk there? We get drive. Like in a bus or a car or. It's a, like some car. Okay. It's like different. Say it again. It's like different car. Okay, some kind of car, like a big car, like it hold a lot of kids. No, it we um it go it four four kids okay. and one adult. Okay, and one adult. Okay, and then you'd go off to school. And what would you do at school? Um, when we first went there, we started play. Like when right when you get there, you immediately start playing. Yes, put your backpack in the class and start. Play. Like, were you allowed to play, or was this just the kids being naughty and playing? Well, we were allowed. To play. Okay, you were allowed to play. So when you arrived, you were supposed to hang your backpack up and then go play. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you keep smiling every time I asked you? Was it was it fun to play, or were there some funny memories you have of playing? It was fun. Like, okay, were were you in a class with all girls or boys and girls? Boys and girls. Okay. Did you have any friends in class that you remember? Um. Yeah, but I don't remember their names. Their names, okay. That's all right. But you you can still remember their faces? No. Like, okay. (laughs) But you do remember that you had friends? Okay. Well, that's cool. That's nice that you had friends. Um, Anything else that you remember about school other than showing up and hanging your backpack and playing? Do you remember learning anything? We learn a song. Okay. Like, when we play and then we stop playing and then our teachers said stop playing and then we learn song we line up and we okay. learn the song okay that's cool and what else and um and we go to class and we learn and then we eat plus we after the class we eat we eat there mm-hmm. lunch yeah it could be lunch or breakfast well, do you remember what you ate no. Like, would it be rice with every meal? Uh, no, not every meal. Not every... Um, I feel like I remember you telling me something like they either... Do, they do eggs. I was going to say eggs, yep. Mm-hmm. And they do... I don't remember... Oh, I remember that they do eggs. Okay. <laughs> eggs are what you remember. Were they scrambled or were they whole eggs, hard-boiled eggs? They're a whole... A whole egg and they would boil it? So it was... You know the hard-boiled no, eggs they, like... They take the off the I don't know the shell. Yeah, the shell. Mm-hmm. I don't. They give it to us and okay. then we take it home. <laughs> I mean, we you take, take it home in your backpack. <laughs> no, we Squished get egg. like little boxes okay. to put some food and we and then we leave. Okay, cool. Did anyone else from from Nava Diganto go to school with you? No. So no other kids from Nava Diganto went to Little kids doesn't go, they stay there. So what about Nava Diganto though? Nava Jivan was where all the little kids were. What about Nava Diganto? That where you guys pick me up? No, that's oh. Nava Jivan. Um that's where I go to school. Okay, okay, okay. So there's there's India. And then um I wanted to ask you about homeschool here in America. Um, so mommy's been your teacher for a year now. By the way, mom hasn't had a break from being a homeschool teacher in 18 months. <laughs> she clear through last 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 uh, summer she was teaching homeschool and uh, still teaching strong. So you've been homeschooled here, and and um, and then there was a time in India where the teachers would come to the orphanage, right? Would come to. Navajiban to teach, right? Yeah. So you learned at Navajiban, which is kind of like homeschool, right? So it wasn't that different to come here? That, in, no. No, it was kind of the same, same right? So how do you like having, um, uh, how do you like having school in your home? It's pretty fun. Yeah, what's fun about it? I um, like doing school and reading. What's your favorite subject? Math. Really? Math? Cool. 
Very cool. I'm, I'm, that's my favorite subject too. What? No, no. I'm gonna ask you another question. What is your least favorite subject? Which subject do you not like? Mm. Science. Science. Yeah. What? What is it you don't like about science? Um. All the reading. Probably. <laughs> or I don't want to put words in your mouth. What is it you don't like about science? Like all the reading. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't think that that, that it, so it maybe reading is your is your least favorite subject right now. But that's just, you know, it's is is that because it's um is that because you're just still learning English, do you think? Or do you think it's just because you don't like learning about science? I don't really know. Okay, yeah. So, it, you know, I think more of her struggle probably is the reading part in science, which is you're reading about theories. You're, it's not like reading about history where you're reading about stories. You're reading about ideas, and that's um, that's it's more abstract. It's less concrete, and that tends to be the place where she's like, she gets bored. So, uh, yeah, I can I can affirm that. So I want to take some, que some questions that we've been getting. Um, let's see. Do you, so this first one, Mom. <laughs> Mom will love this one. Katie, do you want another sibling? Yes. <laughs> do you want that sibling to be a boy or a girl? Girl. Why do you want it to be a girl? Because we have three boys. Yeah. Two, are there too many boys? <laughs> Classic. Classic. So you need another girl, right, to even it out. Because you got four four boys in the household and two girls, so you need another girl, right? Okay. What would you name that girl if you could choose the name? Daisy. <laughs> oh. Right, so are you sure you would choose the name Daisy, though? What if you could choose the name? I don't know. Is Daisy's the name. Look at that. That's sweet. Okay. Do you like the first grade? Someone else wants to know, are you enjoying the first grade now that you're in the first grade? Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Do you like it more than kindergarten? Yeah. It's kind of more interesting, isn't it? There's more to learn in each grade. What's your favorite animal, Katie? Horse. A horse? What, uh, what's that show you watch with the horsies? I forget. Spirit. spirit. You like Spirit? Is that like one of your favorite shows? Yeah. Because of the horsies? Cool. Uh, what is your favorite? Um, someone asked, what is your favorite book to read or types of books to read? So what's your favorite thing to read? Um, Tiptoe book. Tiptoe? What's a, a tip? It's a, it's a type of reading book? It's for school reading books. Oh, okay. So it's like a school reading book. Gotcha. Okay. And it's called Tiptoe? That's cute. I didn't even know that. Thanks. Thanks, Mom. She's the mom's the homeschool teacher, if you can't tell. Um, I asked, uh, Someone else wants to know, Katie, what did you do for fun at the orphanage? What did you do for fun um, at Navajivan, for instance? That what you guys picked me up? Yes. Um... I don't know. Was there anything fun about it? <laughs> yeah. It's um like feeding babies. Uh-huh. You feeding them? Yeah, sometimes. Did you ever get to help feed the babies? So Navajivan was a facility where there were younger children, and Katie was one, one of the, f our understanding anyways, is Katie was one of the fewer older children. She was seven when we picked her up. So there were a lot of babies at Navajivan, right? So they would let you help, help feed the babies? Yeah. I never knew that. She's never told us that before. That's cool. Find out live on the air. Sometimes they're little people, so that's why we get to help them. Oh, because oh, oh, there's not enough adults? Yeah. Uh, they need like people feeding babies. Yeah. Feeding the babies. Okay, cool. That's cool. Now, what about Nava uh, Diganto, where the older kids were? That not where we picked you up, the other facility. What did you do for fun there? Um, um, like going to school. Yeah, school was fun. We play outside there. Okay. Like sometimes. You, you didn't play outside at Navajiban, right? There wasn't no. an outdoor space there, but you played outside at, at Navajiban? Yeah, there was a big space to play there. Well, that's awesome. I didn't realize that. 
Although, see, I've, I've, I haven't seen as many photos of that one, so that's cool that there, that it was um, that it was that way. Um, I remember once you telling me that there was a TV at one of the places and that you never got the remote. You could never get the remote. Someone else always had the oh, remote. Oh, um, let's, when we eat dinner and then when we are done with dinner, we go to TV room and I started watching show. Wait, was it cartoons or was it something else? It's a cartoon. A cartoon. Sometimes we watch some big kid show. Okay. A big kid show, huh? Do you remember any of the shows? No. Interesting. Um, do you remember, uh, Mom, what was that show that we watched? And we've even watched it times here at home with everybody. Oh, Chic Chili. Did you ever watch Chic Chili? Do you remember Chic Chili? Kind of looks like Shrek with the donkey. <laughs> remember the, the show with the uh, the genie and the donkey? Oh, yeah. Did, did you ever watch that at the orphanage? In sometimes. Because I thought that show was only broadcast in Hindi. I don't remember it being in Bengali. I mean, I could be wrong. But uh, but you remember seeing that one on TV a lot? That's awesome. Uh, did you ever eat Chacos at the orphanage? No. No? So so uh, when we picked you up, was that the first time you ever had Chacos? Had you ever had them before? Never? I never knew that. I thought it was something. So let me let me get this straight. You saw sh- commercials on TV for Chacos? And you never got to try them, you poor baby. And then we picked you up, and you finally got to try them. I don't remember did I or not. Did, so you don't remember if you saw commercials for them? I do remember that. So remember the monkey in the commercials? How Chaco's it has the monkey in the commercials? You remember the song too? <laughs> I remember the song. And then when we picked you up, you had Chaco's. Did you ever have them before then? Had you ever tried Chacos before uh, we took you to the hotel? Um, no. Wow. So she finally got to have Chacos when she was adopted. That's amazing. I never knew that. I thought, for some reason, I think Mommy and Daddy all, always thought that you had Chacos regularly now and then or something. So, wow. Okay, so we have some other questions here, Katie, that people are asking, and I'm trying to read through them. Um. Uh, who spoils you more? Do you know what spoils mean? You know what spoiled means? No. Spoiled means like it gives you things. Spoil spoiled means like I give you all sorts of stuff, and anything you want, you can have it. Okay. Who spoils you more, me or mommy? I don't know. <laughs> who gives you more things, me or mommy? Mm, both. Both. That's a good answer. Give me high five. High five. Who um, who uh, tickles you more, me or mommy? <laughs> she, she, <laughs> mommy's like doing this. Air tickles. Yeah, air tickles. Air tickles. Air tickles. Who tickles you more, me or mommy? Um, I don't know. Uh, you don't know? I never thought about it. They just both tickle me immensely. Let's see if I can get another question here. Um Let's see. What is something you want to do in America that you haven't done yet? Is there anything in America that you haven't done yet that you want to do? What's that sound? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about that sound. Ignore the sound. That's our that's a that's a subscriber count thing. Is there anything in America that you haven't done yet that you want to do? Um I don't no, I haven't done it. go to Animal Kingdom. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we still have not gone to Animal Kingdom, have we? We've gone to the cabin three or four times. We've gone to Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire. We've gone to every other park at Disney, but we've never gone to the Animal Kingdom. That's If you're not aware, Animal Kingdom is one of the four parks at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And you want to go to Animal Kingdom, right? Because you like animals. Do they have horses at Animal Kingdom? They don't have any horses at Animal Kingdom. Where do they have... Say that again? Yeah, they have, uh, what would you call them? I don't even know what they're called. Yeah, but they have animal-like things, but not, not or, or horse-like animals, but not horses. So, um, yeah, we need to go find you some horses to look at, don't we? Like, need to go to... I already saw horses. Well, I know you get to see them all the time. You know, they, I guess they have them at, uh, 
at Fort Wilderness Lodge. Maybe we need to go horseback riding. Would you like to ride a horse? Yes. Yes. Is that what you want to do? I mean, you're not getting one for Christmas. Don't get your hopes up, kid. But I mean, we love you and everything, but we don't spoil anybody around here that much. So let's see. A couple of um, more questions. Um, let's see. Uh, someone said, almost a year ago, Mike was talking about beginning prayers with Katie, like teaching her to pray, I guess. I assume that's what this means. Um, does she understand what amen means now? Do you know what amen means? Mm, no. Like, when do we say amen? I don't know if you guys ever say that. Amen? Amen. Think oh, about, okay. yeah. <laughs> not, not amen, like a man or amen, but amen. <laughs> when do we say amen? Prayer. During prayer, at the end of prayer. Do you know what amen means? I don't know if we've ever explained like explicitly what amen means. No. Okay. It means kind of like, I agree. It's like saying, I agree. If mommy said something and I agreed with her, I'd say, amen. Amen. And then at the end of the prayer, anyone who's listening to it can say, amen, to affirm, in other words, to agree with the person who's praying. So that's what amen means now. There you go. She got a lesson live on uh, Behind the Zoo. And let's see. I think I might have one more question, Katie. Uh, would Katie like to have a sister? We already covered that one. Yeah, Katie would. If, oh, of course I can. <laughs> of course. I need, I need more. We need more femininity in this household. Uh, Katie, what? I have a question for you. What do you like about being a girl? Because, because you obviously want another sister. You like being a girl. You like mommy being a girl. You just want more girls in the house. What's so cool about being a girl? What's your favorite thing about being a girl? I don't know. <laughs> what do you do? You, is there anything you like about being a girl? Is there anything you get to do that the boys don't get to do that makes you feel really special? Um, you can take a second to think about it. Because there are certain things, like, for instance, mommy takes you to do certain things that she doesn't do with the boys because they like don't want... Like makeup. Yeah, they, they don't want anything to do with makeup or h henna. I mean, Logan might think it was cool, but I don't think the other two would think it was cool. Is there anything else, like, really specific that makes you feel special about being a girl or getting to do girly things with mommy? Like makeup stuff. Like getting... So do you want to tell the viewers? Did we tell the viewers on a, on a vlog? Oh, we, we actually did. We told the viewers. You want to tell people who haven't seen what you got this week? Mommy spoiled you with something. Speaking of makeup. Oh. Um, lipstick and... Lip gloss. Like it was a little a little pack of lip gloss, right? And that made you feel really special, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we need another girl in the house apparently that that can help even even out the <laughs> the genders and and uh, bring in more femininity and lip gloss and all the the cute what is it sugar and spice and everything nice about being a little girl. So, Katie, thank you. Give me a high five. Thank you so much for joining me for this segment. You did so great. You're a natural. Would you like to be on the show again in the future? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what you're gonna have to do. Start thinking about what your subject, what your subject matter. I know that's a weird noise, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, what is that noise? So this is what you can do. Start coming up with a, uh, with a what you, what you want to talk about, and maybe we'll bring you on another episode. Sound good? Mm -hmm. That sounds good. So I hope you enjoyed getting to. Uh, hang out with Katie and I. This is obviously a, uh, a, a sequel to the video we did where she um, hung out and did a little bit of an interview with me four months after being home. She's been home um, almost 11 months now. I'm sorry, almost 13 months. <laughs> greater, one, one greater than 12 and not one less. Uh, she's been home almost 13 months now. And uh, she's brilliant, man. She's learning English fast. There's, as you can tell, there's really no language barrier anymore. So we can just hang out and learn together. It makes homeschool easier. It makes everything easier, right? When we can communicate, doesn't it? Yeah. So you know, mommy and daddy love you very much. We really do, and we and we're very happy that uh, God has given us the opportunity to share you because you're really special to a lot of people. Um, and we're, we're very thankful God has given us the opportunity to share our life with everyone who's watching, and that includes getting to share you too because you mean a lot to a lot of people. Do you know that? You're a very special girl. <laughs>